Yeah, so this is a mini ball, which is just a specific type of bullet used. This is made of lead, so that's why there's this white powder. Um, it just forms as the lead degrades. I'm Cassidy Esposito, and for this episode of Outside Science Inside Parks, we're at the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park. The battle spot here helped to determine the outcome of the Civil War. Park scientists are still digging into all the artifacts. Let's take a look. Yeah, so how old is this that it has an actual picture? Of Anthropology can be great because you not only have the inside world of the museum, the curation, the preservation internally, but then you also have the field aspect, so the archaeology. So you can physically have, you know, the ability to go out and dig and be a part of something outside and inside. That doesn't keep you stuck to one part. So yesterday we were up here on Snodgrass Hill. Uh, we were using ground penetrating radar, which was that lawnmower looking thing that we were pushing. And basically that just sends waves into the ground. And this is an unobtrusive way of finding out what could potentially be in the ground, if there is anything. Um, so for that, we're trying to find possible uh, burials. So, you know, human remains. What you'll do is you'll, you'll hit start and just head straight for that cone. This was only my second time using GPR, and I've learned a lot. So a lot of what we you know, will find in the archeological sense, it helps with the interpretive division and in being able to kind of bring to life what has actually happened here. A lot of times when you hear history, you're not really visualizing or you're having your own perception of what it might be. But when you have those tangible objects in front of you, it really brings to life and really humanizes the experience that occurred. So like some of these items, you see like these are probably bone dice. This is a, an apothecary kit including cocaine, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> and you see all these other things like leather pieces. And to see something like this where it's a satchel, it may not be in the best condition there is, but it's, it's still intact and the material is still there. The buckles are still attached and holding it in place. It makes it very much more tangible to see the everyday life of the individuals. It really personalizes um, everything. I mean like the the ball itself and also like very much so the people um, because I mean you see all the bullets and all the guns and whatever like yeah it's related to a war but there's also other objects like dice and you know shoes and like pieces of clothing or even something as simple as this was their meal it's hardtack it has not aged a day since it was as you can see there's quite literally no mold it has not broken um, this is what would have been rationed out to the soldiers and it would have probably been in that same kind of hard material it would not have been soft when they had gotten it Dear brother and family, on the first we drew three days rations consisting of crackers, pork, and coffee and went on our march as usual rejoicing being on one-fourth rations. You cannot expect us to have much to subsist upon our ration for one day consisted of one herd cracker, one-fourth pound of pork, and about a tablespoonful of coffee. I love reading the letters. Sometimes you'll read through and they talk about the awful hard tack and that they had to dissolve it in their coffee. Again, it's the humanizing experience. You're reading and it's not just a Civil War soldier. It is a person talking about their struggle that they're dealing with and you get to physically see what they were dealing with and being like, oh yeah, that, that is awful. You do have to put that in coffee. My darling mother, I will write you. It's been an amazing experience. I've learned so much. And I've only been here a few weeks, so like already I've learned so much from all of them. Thanks for watching this episode of Outside Science Inside Parks. We'll see you next time.